In a previous video of ours, we covered 10 things that you can do with Linstore and Proxmox. One of the highlights of the video involved deploying NFS shares with just one command. In a Linstore cluster, all of this is made possible by a little something called Linstore Gateway. And of course, NFS is a great option to store things such as ISO templates and backups throughout your entire Proxmox cluster. This video has a corresponding blog post that's linked in the description, so go ahead and follow along and you can easily copy and paste any of the commands. We're starting off with a three node Proxmox cluster where each node is also a member of a Linstore cluster. Coming over to the command line, we'll need to install a few prerequisites. One of those being DRBD Reactor, which helps make all of this possible. And of course, we'll need packages for NFS and a few other things. Next, we'll need to install Linstore Gateway. Now, if you're a Limbit customer, you can simply use apt and install the Linstore Gateway package. If you're using our public repositories, you'll have to grab the latest release from GitHub and then set the executable permissions. We'll do that right now. Next, we'll actually have to fetch one more thing from GitHub. And until the IP tables or the resource agents package is updated, we'll need to grab the latest port block resource agent from upstream. We can now start making some configuration changes on the Linstore satellite nodes. First, we'll have to make a few changes to the Linstore satellite configuration. Then we'll have to restart that service to pick up the changes. Next, we'll configure some systemd units to automatically reload DRBD Reactor when configuration changes take place. And then finally, we'll have to disable NFS. We don't want NFS managed by systemd. We want to let DRBD Reactor handle when and where this service can run. All right, we're almost done. We just need to configure the Linstore Gateway service to run alongside the Linstore controller. To do that, we'll simply define a new service. We'll inform system D about it, and we'll go ahead and start that service. So we finally made it. We can deploy NFS with just one command. And just a heads up, it can take a few seconds to run this command. There's quite a few things happening behind the scenes. To see the export we just created, we can issue an NFS list command to Linsor Gateway. Everything looks good. Let's go ahead and add it to Proxmox. First, we need to just pick a name for the ID field and we'll call this PVE underscore storage. Then we'll use the virtual IP address we defined earlier and put that in for the server field. Then we can pick from the export dropdown and it will find the export that we currently have running. Then we'll pick the content that we want for this share and add it to the cluster. All right, you're ready to use your new NFS share with Proxmox, all backed by Linstore and the highly available storage it provides. So again, the blog post for this is linked in the description. You can follow along there. If you need to set up Linstore for the first time, we have some links for that as well. And we're finally getting around to deactivating our community Slack in favor of our recently launched forums, forums.limbit.com. Come drop us a line and say hi, and we'll see you there.